Last night I whipped up this homemade lasagna and I'm eating leftovers. It is bomb. I made it with three different cheeses, two different sauces, and five different meats. And your crush is gonna say, you made that? Can I have some? And you're gonna say, some of what? Some of, oh, you want some lasagna? <laughs> Boy, you better be more specific. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's your girl, Sky Scandalous, and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, guys, before we get started, you know I got to shout out my favorite lip gloss. I am rocking my very own Scandalous Lips. I'm wearing my shade Hazel. My shades are all $6, and they're available either in a squeeze bottle or in a bottle with the wand. If you want to shop Scandalous Lips, I will link below where you can find your very own. Back to today's topic. I wanted to make a video talking about how to grab your crush's attention because I know that us women especially can be a little bit shy when it comes to shooting our shot. I felt like this would be a really good topic for me to discuss because I'm kind of a guru in the area. I'm a guru flirt. The flirt guru. Yes! Call me the flirt guru. I like it. So I am the flirt guru and I'm gonna teach you how to flirt. I used to have a dog and his name was Flirt. So when I tell y'all I'm the flirt guru, I mean it, all right? I be out here flirting. I name my dog after my own tendencies. So when it comes to wheeling in your crush, the first thing that you wanna do is grab their attention. You have to make yourself known to your crush because you can't get to know anybody if they don't know you exist, right? So a few basic things to grab your crush's attention are to dress nice, do your hair, makeup, put on a special scent, smile whenever you see them, make strong eye contact, you know, little simple things. If you're in school and you see that he's always sitting in a specific seat, grab that seat next to him, okay? Don't worry about somebody tripping about their unassigned assigned seat, because that's your unassigned assigned bay. Go to the vending machine before class. Get some M&Ms or some gummy bears. So easy to say, you want some candy? Boom. When I was in high school, I did this. So I'm sitting in class with my gummy bears and I'm like, oh, do you want some? And he was like, yeah, sure, I'll take some. And after that, we just started talking. It wasn't even real life deep talk. It was just like little conversation. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised that you like gummy bears. And he was like, yeah, who doesn't like gummy bears? Me and that guy actually ended up dating. He was my prom date. And we're actually still very good friends to this day. So boom, got him, willed him in. Also a thing to do is bring in a prop. By props, I mean a water bottle with a sports team on it or a mug with a funny saying on it if you're at work that might catch your crush's attention they might be like oh wow that's funny where'd you get that mug anything that will grab your crush's attention for example you guys my camera I was carrying it around one day on 6th street and this guy literally stopped and talked to me about cameras for five minutes now he wasn't someone I had a crush on but let's just say I had a crush I could bring my camera with me to class maybe that would open the door for me and him to have a conversation so so any kind of prop that can help grab your crush's attention will be awesome. Now that you have your crush's attention, what you want to do next is find a way to open up a line of communication with them. So the easiest way to open up a line of communication with someone is to compliment them. Tell them that you like their shirt or that they smell really good. If you notice that your crush just got a haircut or a new hairdo, acknowledge it. Tell them, I like your haircut or I love your braids. It's gonna be the little compliments that really makes your crush feel good because they're gonna think, wow, this person is really paying attention to my details. And when they go home thinking about their day, I promise you they're gonna think about that compliment you gave them. And if they're thinking about the compliment you gave them, they're thinking about you. Another easy way to open up the line of communication with your crush is to add them on social media. Social media is so amazing because you can literally find out so much about your crush without them knowing. A lot of people tend to use the same usernames for all of their socials. So once you get them on one, it's pretty easy to find them on the others. You don't necessarily have to follow them because it's kind of weird when you give someone your Snapchat and then they follow you on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. But it's totally okay to follow them on Snapchat and then go peep their Instagram and peep their Twitter. See what kind of stuff they're interested in, what they like to do for fun with their friends, what they talk about. Go ahead and cyber stalk. It is not weird. That is what social media is truly for, in my opinion. <laughs> 
Okay, so a perfect example of me cyber stalking. When I was in high school, I worked at Kane's and there was this guy who I thought was so cute. So we exchanged Snapchats and then I searched his Snapchat username on Twitter and I was able to find all of his tweets. I found out that he was interested in Lana Del Rey. I found out that he loved the show Phineas and Ferb, Chance the Rapper. So when I saw that he liked Chance the Rapper, I was like, oh my gosh, I love Chance the Rapper too. So when I went to work the next week, you know, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm being honest with you. I was literally singing a Chance the Rapper song out loud. And I did it purposely as he was walking by and he heard me and he was like, oh my God, you like Chance the Rapper? I'm like, what? I love Chance the Rapper. You like Chance the Rapper? Knowing good and dang well, I know he know Chance the Rapper, but he don't know that I know, so it's all good. So anyways, we start having a whole conversation. He tells me how he's going to jambalaya for Chance the Rapper. I'm like, oh my God, me too. It's actually my birthday. Me and my friends are going. So now he knows multiple things about me. He knows what my birthday is. He knows that I'm interested in Chance the Rapper. He knows that I have friends and that me and my friends go to concerts just like him and his friends. And he's already looking at me in a different light. I'm more than just the girl working drive through Ask them, do they have any plans for the weekend? That is a really, really great way to reveal things that you're interested in. Because 99% of the time, when you ask someone, do you have any plans this weekend? They reciprocate with the same exact question. So even if you aren't doing what you're saying you're doing that weekend, it's a good way to show them what you're interested in. Once you show them that you have interest outside of what you guys do, it lets them know a little bit more about you. Makes them more interested in who you are, especially if they're interested in the things that you're interested in. They're automatically more attracted to you, right? So in order to make it known that you have a life outside of work or school, subtly try to bring up things about yourself. So let's say you're in class. You can say, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I was up all night last night watching the football game. Oh, you watch football? What team? Purposely control the conversation to go how you want it to go. For example, if you are a really great chef, ask your crush what they had to eat today. They'll tell you, oh, I had da 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 What about you? Oh man, last night I whipped up this homemade lasagna and I'm eating leftovers. Let me tell you, it is bomb. I made it with three different cheeses, two different sauces, and five different meats. Your crush is gonna say, you made that? Like, can I have some? You know, say some of what? Some of, oh, you want some lasagna? <laughs> Boy, you better be more specific. <laughs> Yeah. And that lets your crush know that you're an awesome cook and now they're they're registering in their head. The girl that sits next to me or my fellow co-worker or my fellow softball teammate is a bomb cook. Okay, so you've grabbed your crush's attention. You've opened the line of communication. The next step is to make an attempt to hang out with them. If you guys are co-workers, you can invite them out to lunch with you or out for drinks after work. If you guys are students, you can invite them to study or work on a homework assignment together. Once you guys are in a secluded area, it's super easy to get to talk to your crush and get to know them better. If you're too shy to hang out with them alone, invite them to a group event. Say, you know, a couple of my friends are going bowling tonight. If you want to come, you totally should. Also, another plus when it comes to social media, let's just say you happen to be cyber stalking them on Twitter and you see that him and his friends are going out to 77 degrees tonight. Well, get your best gals out there to 77 degrees and when you see him, just say, OMG, funny seeing you here. He don't have to know that you were doing your research before before you got there and already he's thinking this is fake so that that is your future husband or wife it is totally okay to put yourself in the same place that they are the last and final step you guys is to fall in love I mean what else is there left to do you got their attention you've been communicating you guys have hung out if it is meant to be then it will be you two will start dating and yada 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 etc get married have babies and live happily ever after Hmm. If your crush is not reciprocating your same energy or if they're not picking up on all of your hints quite yet, don't give up too soon. People are slow sometimes. They might not realize that you're actually flirting with them, especially if you're being very subtle about it. This is a marathon, not a race. The best relationships are the ones built over time. So if it's taking you three months to wear your crush down, don't lose hope. Just keep on trying. And more importantly, just have fun. Even if you guys don't date, it's still fun to just flirt. Get to know people to talk find out what you do and don't like this is right. the flirt guru signing out thanks so much for tuning in if you love this video or found it the slightest bit helpful you should totally thumbs up if you love my channel please subscribe and if you have any success stories with my tips share them below in the comments i would love to hear about how you two fell in love due to my tips and tricks stay pretty stay blessed and stay positive bye